open to Draytech Australia and New Zealand. In this video, we are going to configure IPv6 on the Vigo router using PPP mode. In our setup, we are using a Vigo 2860 and our RSP is internode. First step is to enable IPv6 feature via RSP. For internode, we will need to access and log into their website to activate the IPv6 service. The second step is to enable IPv4 internet connection. So internode uses PPPoE for authentication. From the router admin page, go to WAN internet access and select WAN1 details page. Select enable and make sure that VPI is 8 and VCI is 35. Enter the username and password provided by internode and then click OK to save your settings. The router will need to restart to apply those changes to take effect. The third step is to verify the IPv4 internet connection. To check the IPv4 is working, go to online status, physical connection, and look for WAN1 status. As you can see under WAN1 status, the uptime is 24 seconds, so IPv4 internet connection is now working. The fourth step is to configure IPv6 PPP mode. Go to WAN, Internet Access, and select WAN1 IPv6. Under IPv6, select the connection type as PPP, and then click OK to save your settings. The router again needs to restart to apply those changes to take effect. To check if the router has assigned IPv6 address, go to Online Status, Physical Connection, and select the IPv6 tab. As we can see, IPv6 is up in about 11 seconds. The last step is to test IPv6 connectivity to the internet. To test it, we will go to Diagnostic, Ping Diagnosis, select IPv6, and enter IPv6 address as ipv6.google.com and then click Run to execute the ping. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, please visit our website www.draytech.com.au or you may email us at sales at